All right, so in this example, we'll go ahead and add the interaction to uh, our project. And we have a couple ways to do that. We want to trigger some, we want to trigger these slide layers right here. We want to show each of these layers when the user mouses over each of these uh, ponies. Well, a couple options here for triggering those. We could add the trigger to the objects, but I kind of don't want to do it in this example because you see how the bounding box for each of the objects overlaps a little bit? While that's okay and it would still work, it might cause some confusion or I might have to reorder these layers to make sure that certain ones are on top. Because right here, this object is overlapping this object. And I, the user might mouse over this part of, the, uh, of Pinky's head and actually trigger a rarities layer. So I'm actually going to delete these. I already have these in place on my layers, right? They're already placed over here on the slide layers. This is actually a good use of the hotspot. So the hotspot lets us, so from insert and then hotspot, Hotspot lets us draw a, a kind of like an invisible shape, invisible button over the object, and I'll select freeform, where we can control really where that hotspot area is. So it doesn't have to be the entire image. We already have the image on the background. So now this, this, this shape right here, this irregular shape, is going to be my hotspot. Now I can go ahead and just create another one for each of them. And you could use the oval. I mean, it doesn't, you don't have to use the freeform. I mean, in some ways that might just work as well, right? I could just take this one that's in the center of the object, hold down my control key and drag one right here, control, and then one more time. So pretty quick that way as well. If you want a little bit more control, use the freeform. If you uh, think that one of the basic shapes like the oval or the uh, square is actually gonna do it, that works totally fine as well, all right? So now I just wanna go ahead and trigger each of those slide layers. So when I select this first one for rarity, you can see that the trigger in the trigger panel it actually is set to click. That's the default. Well, I don't want it to click. In this case, I want it to mouse over. So I'm going to double click that trigger so I can make two changes. I want to show rarity, but then not when I click, but when I mouse hovered over. And one other option here, it's, it's enabled by default. And that's exactly what we want. But when this option right here, restore, that's going to, uh, when I mouse away from this object, it's actually going to show the base layer again. It's going to hide that slide layer that I just showed on mouse over. You may not want that in some cases, so it's really cool that we have that option, but the default is exactly what we want here. So I'm just going to go through each of these, and this is show layer pinky. Not when I click, but when I hover over. And this one is for Applejack. You see how the uh, process is pretty repetitive once you get that initial um, trigger set? In this case, what am I doing? Show highlight and then finally rainbow all right so let's go ahead and click F12 or you can click preview to preview your project there we go the only thing I'm seeing here and notice how I, I when I mouse over the hair I'm not getting that now right because that's not really part of our hotspot if I'd use the image I would be able to mouse over this area, this, this uh, fringe area, and it would show it, but now it's not. So a couple things I want to do. I do want to add transitions to my slide layer, so there's just a smoother um, a feel than the, uh, the, the kind of that, that quick on and off type transition. So if I click animation, you can see by default it's set to no transition. I can set to fade smoothly, and I can also control the speed, medium. Now, rather than going through and, and, and applying that same transition to the remaining slide layers, I can just click apply to all. And now it's on all of them. So let's go ahead and click F12 now and preview it. Much smoother, right? So I see there's a little bit of movement here. I could go in and uh, reposition each of those objects just to get them a little bit more accurate. But overall, this is a, uh, this looks good. And the thing that left, the main thing left is to go into these slide layers now and bring in that audio, that pre-recorded audio that has the name of each of the ponies. And we'll do that in the next lesson.